Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes. In this, my 22nd flight, I'm going from Innsbruck in Austria to Stuttgart in Germany and flying the Glass Air Super 2 RG. And RG is for retractable gear. Uh, this is a freeware plane and it comes with also a tail dragger version and a fixed gear tricycle version. The Glass Air is a kit plane and a fairly popular one at that, at least in previous flight sims like Flight Sim 10 I've had them as well, and I think there was a Glass Air 3 in Flight Sim 10. And that one was a little bit rounder on the front end. This is sort of boxier. So there's also some weird artifacting going on. But uh, because of a low cloud cover, we're getting this flickering. Once we get up higher, we'll see what it really looks like properly. I think there's just some weird lighting effects down here. Oh, that's an interesting thing on the runway. Anyway, uh, when we last left the Apollo 12 crew, we are listening to the Apollo 12 audio while doing these flights. Uh, we had left Dick Gordon in orbit around the moon, and Al Bean and Pete Conrad were getting ready for their EVA on the lunar surface, their first EVA, their first moonwalk. And we will get that in 25 minutes. Uh, Pete Conrad will set foot on the moon in about 25 minutes into this video, I think. So, without further ado, let me start that off. There's the audio. Uh, they've been getting ready for quite a while. The entire uh, time during the last flights, they were just getting ready. Can I get up on the step a little bit? And it'll actually take uh, quite a few minutes for Piconra to actually go out the hatch and get to the bottom. <laughs> so, anyway, expect that. So here we go from Innsbruck. Um, whoa, whoa, that's a lot of torque. Got all these hoses? Sure. Good. Okay. We need to do a lot of climbing. I'll try and pass over Munich as well. So we actually need to turn around. And again, sorry about the flickering. I wonder if I need to get the water in there. Maybe you can do that. Sometimes toggling that uh, three, I'm gonna call it three J F P S works. Oh, okay, that's obviously worse. So I'm using my left hand for the control stick right now, and my right hand to, I've crossed my hands a bit. Mm, well, that's okay. That doesn't seem bad right now. Oh, it flickered a bit right after I said that. Earlier, the weather was reading storm conditions. It apparently cleared up before I started this flight. Uh, how you doing over there? Good. Red line at about 225 okay. knots. I'll turn on your window heater just a second, right? Good, good. You get to your corner again. Okay. I don't know about you, but my suit is collapsing around me. I bet you. That's right. Suit collapsing around them. It's the last breaker in the upper left. Okay, now. Verify. Not this, easy. Oh, wait, that's a lot of. What? Right here. Torso tie down. That was okay. That's better. All O2 connectors locked. All right, I'll check your. I want to get above all this Look at your weather. Here. Oh, it's, it's 
Hearing them get ready is a lot more entertaining than hearing the Apollo 11 crew get ready. But I think the audio was pretty bad while they were trying to do that for Apollo 11. We didn't get a very clear audio while they were fumbling about. Oh, here's the clouds that have been causing us trouble. I could follow this valley or I could cut across towards Munich. I guess following the valley is not a bad thing. I don't like those clouds though. Oh, it's still flickering too. Still some interesting little issues on the plane. It's, uh, cleared up. What that's all about. Let me check the winds. Uh, just 17 knots. So we're following the A12. And the river in question seems to be the Inn River. I guess that's why it's called Innsbruck. And the A12 is the Intal Autobahn. I think I have my oxygen off. Very appropriate. Oh, this might be a good height. Coming up. Some interesting clouds, but uh, there's still some flickering below us. Passing by the city of Wattens. Rocks waiting for four and a half, four and a half billion years to be grabbed. Wait, is that the moon uh, through the clouds? It looks like it. That's fortuitous. I'm gonna descend a bit. We're pretty high up as it is. Stand by, traffic. We'll be right with you. Stand by. You guys ought to be spring loaded. Intrepid, your go for EVA. Yeah, that was the moon peeking through the clouds. Okay, just a second. Okay, better not mess with the plane too much. And then crawl back. This is the city of Schwartz. Whoa. Okay. 
try to trim down here. I just got through seeing how good the audio was. Why don't you let me get it? Yeah. Stand up. Stand up. I, I got it. There we go. Back in the way. Yeah. Uh, no. Why don't you wait? Listen, you're gonna tire of yourself not doing it. Let me get it. Let See a Genbach. Okay. That's it. Grab it. Oh, cloud. Uh, let's uh, ascend rather than descend. Okay. Copy three five. Let me see. Verify cut gauge does not drop below four point eight. Sure doesn't. I'm gonna cut across the mountains. We're going way far away from our intended course. Let's let's take this valley up. Trumpet looks good here. He said go. Don't give him a second chance to reconsider. Okay, so this uh, lake is Achensee. Feels good. And we're following the B181 up. Then we turn on the water. Just as soon as we get this thing down real low. I got a tone. That's right. An H2O flag. Like good boats do. One pound on the cabin. Okay. Okay. This will be good. More the or ABA less. clock started at one one five o eight o two elapsed time. We should be able to follow this up. The the B one eight one up to Munich. The other route was gonna take us way far away to the east. And we want to go east, but not yet. I'm trying to circumnavigate the world, but I'm taking my time. <laughs> We're zigzagging quite a lot, especially through Europe. So right now we're gonna be going north-south more than east-west. In fact, we'll be going opposite the direction we ought to be going, and we'll be going slightly west during this flight too. To Stuttgart and then north uh, to Cologne and then to Amsterdam and then we'll be headed continuing eastward. The vertical stabilizer is interestingly short, I would say. An interestingly short vertical stabilizer. 
Crossing into Germany. Out of Austria. Somewhere around here is the border. Giving us the time to the second, the mission time, 115 hours, and to the second when the hatch was opened. Or for those who might want to recreate the whole thing in real time as a video series, of course. city up ahead is called Langries. Don't know how to pronounce that. On the B-13. And it's the Isa River. I-S-A-R. Intermediate. I'm ready to go over the cell. Just a second. Nope, my checklist. Right on the 
Some clouds baked into the ground there. Okay, he's going out. On a clear day in this direction, Munich would be visible. Whoop, suddenly cloud reset. Just as I say that. Still, the clouds are obscuring Munich. Still approaching Munich here. Where's the sun? No. There it is. That's pretty nice. TV starting to come in. Again, the TV cameras at the side of the limb. Sounds good, Pete. Just like you wanted. Just fling her out here. That's right. Okay, now hold her there. Just a second, Pete. Okay. One second. You have any TV, Houston? Roger. We've got a TV. No Pete Conrad as yet. I'm at the top of the ladder. Okay, now look, this thing is all the way out of the valley. How do you want me to do it? Just keep way? doing it. Huh? Adios. No, but this thing isn't all the way out of the... That's okay. You know, let me have this end of it. <laughs> I can make him back up the ladder and notch. Okay. Adam, boy. Which end is that? End do I want. This end Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> look at that stuff, go. I think I'll start descending so we can That's see like Munich better. I don't know. We're pretty close. the lunar equipment conveyor swinging in the screen there. So, according to Wiki, by 2012, 1,200 of these right. have been built. I mean, the glass here, one and twos. Kind of a smile, I 
got here. Uh, fuel efficiency wise, it's pretty good. It uh, has 70 gallons and a 1,520 nautical mile range, so more than 20 miles to the gallon. Going at about 200 miles an hour. Only carries two though, crew member and passenger. Oh, suddenly no clouds? I'll take it. That's Munich. Oop, clouds back. Ah, that's the famous phrase that uh, he made a bet that they... Uh, a journalist said that they would ne never let him say that, and that Neil's words have been scripted. And so, made a bet saying that he wouldn't be allowed to say... That may have been a small st uh, step for Neil, but it's a big step for me. And he did. He did. He didn't get the money, though. So he is on the lunar surface now. These fancy clouds with them maneuvering. And from here, we'll be taking the A8 to Stuttgart. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess so. We'll reduce the fanciness. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. This is definitely better. I'll take the frame rates. We'll be out of Munich soon anyway. As you might suspect from some of the pictures Neil brought back, gang. Uh, I have a several small rocks sitting out in front of me that have uh, a neat. No. Oh. A mound of dirt built up around them. I'm not sure that my decent engine didn't blow them there. But uh, then again, it may not have. Oh, uh, it's choppy. Roger, Pete, copy that. There's a dirt build up on the uh, side closest to the limb. Some sort of factory here. 
Ralph, let me, uh, I'm going over to get my contingent example, and I'll get one of the rocks uh, in the sample. And, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, it is built up on the side that, that the lamb landed on. Oh, on the map it says Gross Mark, Mark Tall Munchen. The well, there's one scoop. Doesn't sound like a factory, but. There's another with some more rocks in it. Hi. It starts just like the 16G airplane now. <laughs> Pete Conrad's full of little sound effects. Wow, you know, the sun, it, it really is. It's just like somebody's got a, a super bright spotlight. Here's another good looking rock. Huh? Whoops. In the temple. And another rock I want to get in it. Okay. Since we passed the city center, I'll diminish it. We got train tracks here. Could follow these to Augsburg and then to Stuttgart, but I'll go off the highway. The highway's at our right wing. Or Autobahn, I guess. Uh-oh. It's not a problem in this case, I don't think, but... Hell, verify, uh, feed water's on. Dish. It's been on. It's still on. I'm not getting cars on the highway, so I'll go lower. Wow! Feed water's on, it's still real cool in here. Al, diverter valve to minimum. Okay, it's minimum now. Do you think I may have done, uh, broken through the sublimator or something? That's affirmative, Al. Well, departing Munich. We have a good shot of you there, Pete. He means with the engines, I think. Al, you really gotta watch your step down here. I can only, right now it's stuttery for some reason. Uh, He's removing the thermal cover from the Mesa. Things in Mesa. Things that I've seen before. And maybe it's because of the sunset, I don't know. It hardly stroke the gear at all, and it looked like we were like I landed just about vertical. Oh, let me slow down and descend. 
that'll limit the amount of stuff on in the distance that it has to render. Hopefully it won't be too flickery though. Click out and see what might be using resources. Nothing much. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's a little bit better now. Still, I want to see cars on the highway. Would you believe it? The base is too low for once. Al, how is the uh, feed water look now? Well, it's still got an A in there, but I'm plenty cool. I went back to minimum, and I'm sitting here at minimum. What do you think happened? Al, we'd like to watch it a bit. It could be instrumentation. Stand by. Okay. Been out, Pete, you've been out uh, 25 minutes, and you're about four minutes ahead. Okay, I got the table out. When they say out, they mean from the start of the EVA, which means when he started his life support unit, not when he actually stepped out onto the surface. Oh, that's really stuttery. Every night. Okay. Hey Al, can work out here all day. Just take your time. I've got some special freeware scenery packages Almost that were available on the explain.org forum. And they're pretty intense sometimes. Uh, for Germany, specifically. There's some really big Germany scenery packages. But I don't see anything around here-ish, but some of the buildings are really high poly and everything, so they could cause a lot of business. Whoa, suddenly clouds. Descending. Wow. Okay. I think I should just go up. I don't think I can get below this cloud very easily. I guess that's why I wasn't bothering to render any. Cars. LCG water pump sounds like a diesel truck running out here. Comforting to know that it's. I wonder why I've got this little plume on the left the wing, battery. but nowhere else. I wonder why it doesn't show the cloud below me. We definitely went above a cloud. 
Uh, the door swung shut like it did before. It probably bothered the sublimator because it wasn't in a good vacuum anymore. Uh -huh. So I opened the door, and it's probably going to start working in a minute. <laughs> I said, also, when you opened the door, I think shot ice balls. <laughs> They'd have to add. Yeah, there's probably all from my, uh, uh, never thought you'd have to do that. Hey, you bent the outside of our front hatch on the way out. You tore some of the skin. How'd I do that? I don't know, must have hit your cliff there. It's got a nice scrape mark right along the way out. Okay. I have to say, Albine sounds a lot different from the microphone inside the suit. A little bit deeper voice. I didn't realize that the hatch uh, it closed quite so uh, tightly like that. It just, uh, when I was working on the other side of the cabin, the hatch went closed and I didn't notice it. And apparently the, it quit holding a good vacuum in here. My H2O A flies it off now, so everything's copacetic. Roger, Al, let's go down here. Okay. Okay, I got both canisters now, both batteries. As soon as I get them in here, I got to pack the uh, contingency sample. Okay. Sit tight, wait for a bit. Okay, I just... So we're approaching I Augsburg. Really can't move as Augsburg. I you could. I got to take it real easy. Get the feeling that I'm uh, most spiffy on the balance up there. Let's risk getting more buildings in. This is what is known as dirt, dirt. So that in front of us is Augsburg. Wait, wait. There I go. <laughs> they 
I get the shadow because I can't see what I'm doing unless I'm going to get the sun. I'm about to fall down this little crater hole. Wait, it really does get... i got to get over here in the shadow. I'm down in a... Whoops, another crater hole. <laughs> but the river obstacle course over there. Man, am I going to get dirty. Hold it now. Back up a little ways. Oh, well, we see at least a police Tell car on the highway there. The porch rail. Uh, it is now. It is? I can't see a thing looking into the sun. Pull. Okay, I'll bring her in. Come dead easy. Okay. Good Plenty of police I cars on the them. highway. Wait, 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 wait. Attaboy, now I can see. So, departing I Augsburg. Got it. Okay. I'll have your stuff right back out to you. And environs. Okay, let me see. While you're doing that, what was I supposed to do? Oh, I know. Possible TV deploy. I'll go work on the, uh, yeah. Uh, tripod. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Trying to learn to boo faster. Pretty good. Hey, I feel great. How long have we been out, Houston? Deep, you're 34 minutes into the EVA and you're right, right on the nominal timeline. So this is Nature Park, Augsburg, Restlich, Walder. So, the Augsburg Nature Park area thing. I may have put the bag to the Obviously, there are towns in the midst of all these forest areas, but it's all part of the same sort of generalized area on the map. Come on, little fella. Some sort of nature reserve. Come on, TV camera. Okay, ready for you, Pete. All right. Well. Uh, all right, I got to uh, stop what I'm doing. Let me come over here and get it. Here I come. Okay. I, don't, I, don't. I feel like Bugs Bunny. He feels like Bugs Bunny because of the hopping. Okay, we're going smoother now. Away, but if you need it. Okay, I'm going right now. Ah, nice little bridge up ahead. I can fall over. I can... It sure goes out easy. Yeah. Incidentally, now, the engine on here is uh, eight, 180 horsepower. Lycoming O360. Let Let's get it over the handrail. Same as on the Cessna 172. Robinson R22, which that's a helicopter. Uh, the decathlon, the Piper Archer and Arrow, popular engine. Okay, let her go. That's it. All right, now just hold it right there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Piper Cherokee as well. Oh, I thought it was a 
Well, yeah, I thought it was a bridge, but it was, uh, it's actually just the fact that the windmills were next to the road that made it look like some sort of suspension bridge, but it wasn't. Nope, it's just a regular old highway. There's some spectacular overland bridges in Europe, but I don't know if I've got them or not. I don't know what qualifies as an, I have to look up what qualifies as an ultralight. This is pretty light. Empty weight is 635 kilograms. Shadow length 45 feet because of the sun angle. Okay. Very good. Uh, contingency sample area I got to the color chart. <laughs> Thank you, sorry, yeah, and gross and weight I'm is less than a it. ton. Oh, this. I had uh, given it as uh, gallons for the fuel capacity, 70 U.S. gallons. That's 260 liters. It's about 10 kilometers per liter. A little bit better than that. We're approaching the city of Ulm. They'll be on our left soon. Hey, wait, I'm gonna. I wonder if I can get in the bottom of this crater hole. Hey, Al Houston, the uh, lamb is looking good. Uh, there you go for egress. See, you're at uh, 40 minutes into the timeline, and you're about four minutes ahead. Okay. Two for Oh dear. I swear, they have way too much fun. Okay, please, come. Wait, 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 wait. Ready now? No, 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 no. Let me come. Did we have Passing by Gunsberg. Okay, you're coming straight out, and the further you bend over, the better. All right, move to your right. Okay. a boy. Now. That's a, yeah, to get your knees down. Atta boy. Okay. Who's Gunsberg? Good shape. Okay, I'll pull the uh, hatch closed here. Okay. Don't lock it. Don't lock it. Okay, you're right at the edge of the port. Okay. Uh, a little choppy. There's Leipheim in front of us. Where I landed, 
We'd have landed right smack in that crater. Interesting area that we're flying over here. Don't know how to translate that. On the moving map, everything is in the local language, so... Oh, things have gotten real choppy suddenly. There you go. Come on, game. Come on, game. No, thank goodness. That was gonna crash. Okay. Lepheim on the Donau River. Pretty good. I better get my visor down, though. Yes, sir. Why, that sun is bright. But the room looks nice on the outside. Just to let me ask you a question, how important that color chart? I tried to spike it in the ground, you know, so it was perfect. Had to double check, yes. It it's the Danube. <laughs> I it is, in fact, a Danube. I if you want to take the time. Press on with uh, what you're doing there. Pete. Huge we'll river. Uh, answer back to you. Okay. okay. Pete, press on. Uh, no problem. Mainly because it takes such an interesting route okay. across Europe. Attaboy. It dumps out Attaboy. into the Black Sea. Welcome aboard. Not on the map, the shortest route for it to the sea, but it just happens that the landscape is that way. Doing river tours wouldn't be a bad thing. Just going down some rivers. The Volga is particularly huge. Wide. It's a very broad river. Danube is interesting. So there's Ulm, ULM, Ulm. From how shadowed it is, I'm guessing there's an invisible cloud underneath us, but not sure. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot of reason why we're so shiny and bright and the landscape is so dark. Still, I'm thankful it's not rendering that cloud. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to see anything. Okay, proceeding on to Stuttgart. I think this tape has some other stuff on it that's been overwritten, I'm not sure. Or maybe something in the PAO office got picked up like that telephone thing, but I hear some other stuff. Definite telephone tone there. And wherever the heck that music is. Really gotta be careful. 
careful when you go out of the light into the dark. Yep. So something else was getting mixed in there. We're meeting up again with the A8 here. We had departed it. Please don't move it so that it's right in front of the sun. That was, uh, I think it was from Earth to the Moon where they had Al Bean note that he made that mistake. I think something got fried on the photosensitive bits. Pretty sure the the sun just burned the thing. Okay, Al, watch. Ready for 
Still looks the same, Al. We have a very bright image at the top and uh, blacked out at the uh, buffer at 80% of the bottom. I don't think it did it. Did it? Al, well, we haven't seen any change at all. Uh, why don't you go <laughs> and take and put your glove in front of the uh, lens, but not over it, to see whether we can uh, get any change at all. It's doomed. It's doomed. What do you see now? Still the same, Al. We've got a uh, very bright uh, part, about 20% of the top, and uh, black on the bottom. Oh, finally, we got some cars on the highway. Oh, but flickering. It seems to be raining. No visible drops here, though, or streaks. I got it pointing exactly opposite of the sun here, so, uh... Well, we see no change at all in the, uh, scene. Why don't you just give it a little tap, and maybe the color wheel will turn up. We're pretty close to the airport. The airport is south of Stuttgart itself. Actually, a pretty good view from in here. But we're back down to flickering right. levels. the complexity of things. Hey Al, come over here. You're gonna have to help me line up this antenna, all right? Houston, I'm gonna leave the camera just pointed off in the distance. If you get any ideas, I'd be glad to work on it for you. Roger, uh, I'll try and point it off uh, where you don't get any uh, reflectance into it, and uh, we'll be thinking about it here on the ground. Kirchheim Untertech. Is this location? Yeah, let's not go too far down. Now, right? 
Uh-huh. Oh, there it is. I got you there. But we can hide it. Yeah. I'll tell you where you need to go, Pete. You need to... Okay, that's good. Now you, you need to point. You need to rotate the whole thing counterclockwise. That's good. You're getting there. Getting there. The old earth is hanging up there. Maybe. How much further? Oh, I'd say another uh, three or four degrees, maybe. Stop. No more. Okay, now, wait. That looks just good as far as uh, angle. Now, up and down, I can move it a little closer. That helps you. Okay, come down with it. Touch it up and send you down. Go down. Come on down. Come in. Okay, stop. Now go, now go clockwise. Right, one more. I'd say you're pretty close to right on here. Pete. All right, now wait a minute. Don't, don't let me knock it over, but I got to okay, I'm trying to stabilize it for you. Oh, the yeah, flickering doesn't thing. happen Bring inside the cockpit. Okay, you go ahead. I mean, if I focus just down in here, it's just the outside. I don't see the earth anywhere in the sight. Pretty sure it's something to do with the clouds because it doesn't happen when there aren't any clouds. Just like that. Okay, we're going to. Whoa, oh, that's. Yeah. For a sec there, I thought that was the uh, sky being messed up somehow. I wonder what those two tall towers... Well, that's a factory of some kind. Those are smokestacks. Well, we can sort of see stuff up ahead. Right there is the airport. Be careful you don't move in any closer to the right side of your cliff. And more around here is Stuttgart, but I think there's a hill in the way for most of it. We still see some tall buildings in that direction though. Paused. Come on, come on. Uh, okay. Okay. When you finish up the solar wind, would you give one more uh, last try on that camera? Try uh, opening up the f-stop all the way and exercising the zoom. I sure will. I sure will. But we sure don't want to touch those cables. Okay. Oh, Gear down. Right. Bit of flaps. Too much okay. fiddling with the camera.
much wind we have here? 32 knots, so that explains that. Okay, that's a lot of wind. Well, that's at 12,000 feet, though, but... Gotta blatantly assume that I've got some wind here. Though not in the direction of flight, because otherwise it'd affect my ground speed more. So off to the side of it. Okay, it doesn't feel too bad as far as wind is concerned right now. Welcome to Stuttgart. Oh, oh, come on, turn, turn. Be a good little plane. Some cars right there. So, as I pull in, uh, and let's let me slow down. Break, 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 break. <laughs> Do a little handbrake turn there. And I will pause the audio. And we'll pick it up from where we left off. The the whole EVA, the first EVA, they do another one later on the surface of the moon. Uh, will take a while. Uh, there's not a whole lot of mm, blank areas to cut out. Just how I've been speeding up along. Though it's... Uh, Pretty solid audio. So we'll be listening in to uh, their fun on the surface. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.